Hey there, friends. Pastor Jason here. Glad you can join me for daily devotionals. The recording of this is Good Friday, and I've got some short, sweet psalms for you. I hope they're a blessing to you. We're going to do four psalms today. I know I missed a day earlier this week. We're going to make up for it a little bit. These psalms are short. Hopefully they kind of get you in the mood for Good Friday and what that has to mean in terms of us worshiping the Lord, the Lord, recognizing our own shortcomings and failings, seeking Him for forgiveness, and recognizing what He did on the cross for us. Let's turn and see what He has done for the Israelites and why the Israelites had to worship Him. Here we go. We're in Psalm 135. We're going to do 135, 136, 137, 138. Here we go. Psalm 135, verse 1. Hallelujah! Praise the name of Yahweh. Give praise, you servants of Yahweh, who stand in the house of Yahweh, in the courts of the house of our God. Praise Yahweh, for he is our for he is good. Sing praise to his name, for it is delightful. For Yahweh has chosen Jacob for himself, Israel as his treasured possession. For I know that Yahweh is great. Our Lord is greater than all gods. Yahweh does whatever he pleases in heaven and on earth, in the seas and all the depths. He causes the clouds to rise from the ends of the earth. He makes lightning for the rain and brings wind from his storehouses. He struck down the firstborn of Egypt, both man and beast. He sent signs and wonders against you, Egypt, against Pharaoh and all his officials. He struck down many nations and slaughtered mighty kings, Sihon, king of the Amorites, Og, king of Bashan, and all the kings of Canaan. He gave their land as an inheritance to the, his people, an inheritance to his people, Israel. Yahweh, your name endures forever. Your reputation Yahweh, through all generations, for Yahweh will vindicate his people and have compassion on his servants. The idols of the nations are of silver and gold made by human hands. They have mouths but cannot speak, eyes but cannot see. They have ears but cannot hear. Indeed, there is no breath in their mouths. Those who make them are just like them, as are all who trust in them. House of Israel, praise Yahweh. House of Aaron, praise Yahweh. House of Levi, praise Yahweh. You who revere the Lord, praise the Lord. May the Lord be praised from Zion. He dwells in Jerusalem. Hallelujah. Psalm 136. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His love is eternal. Give thanks to the God of gods. His love is eternal. Give thanks to the Lord of lords. His love is eternal. He alone does great wonders. His love is eternal. He has made the heavens skillfully. His love is eternal. He spread the land on the waters. His love is eternal. He made the great lights. His love is eternal. The sun to rule by day, his love is eternal. The moon and stars to rule by night, his love is eternal. He struck the firstborn of the Egyptians, his love is eternal. He brought Israel out from among them, his love is eternal. With a strong hand and an outstretched arm, his love is eternal. He divided the Red Sea, his love is eternal, and led Israel through. His love is eternal, but hurled Pharaoh and his army into the Red Sea. His love is eternal. He led his people in the wilderness. His love is eternal. He struck down great kings. His love is eternal. And slaughtered famous kings. His love is eternal. The, and Og, uh, Sihon, king of the Amorites. His love is eternal. And Og, king of Bashan, his love is eternal, and gave their land as an inheritance, his love is eternal, an inheritance to the Israel his servant, his love is eternal. He remembered us in our humiliation, his love is eternal. He rescued us from our foes, his love is eternal. He gives food to every creature, his love is eternal. Give thanks to the God of heaven. His love is eternal. 
Now, Psalm 137. By the rivers of Babylon, there we sat down and wept. We remembered Zion. There we hung up our lyres on the poplar trees, for our captors asked us for songs and our tormentors for rejoicing. Sing us one of the songs of Zion. How can we sing the Lord's song on foreign soil? If you forget Jerusalem, may my right hand forget its skill. May my tongue stick to the roof of my mouth. If I do not remember you, if I do not exalt Jerusalem as my greatest joy. Remember, Lord, what the Edomites said that day at Jerusalem. Destroy it, destroy it down to its foundations. Daughter of Babylon, doomed to destruction, happy is the one who pays you back what you have done to us. Happy is he who takes your little ones and dashes them against the rocks. And finally, Psalm 138. I will give you thanks with all my heart. I will sing your praise before heavenly beings. I will bow down toward your holy temple and give thanks to your name for your constant love and truth. You have exalted your name and your promise above everything else. On the day I called, you answered me. You increased strength within me. All the kings of the earth will give thanks, Lord, when they hear what you have promised. They will sing of the Lord, the Lord's ways, for the Lord's glory is great. Though the Lord is exalted, he takes note of the humble, but he knows the haughty from a distance. If I walk into the thick of danger, you will preserve my life. From the anger of my enemies, you will extend your hand. Your right hand will save me. The Lord will fulfill his purpose for me. Lord, your love is eternal. Do not abandon the work of your hands. Again, this is Good Friday. Don't forget that you are the work of the Lord's hands. You have a purpose. We have enemies, we have spiritual enemies. The people around us are also people who need Jesus. Uh, those of us who know Jesus, we need him even more. We recognize as we get more mature how little we really do tap into him. We need him more in our life. I hope on this Good Friday that you will take great honor and give it to the Lord because he has a purpose for you, that you have a set-apart purpose for his use, for his kingdom's glory, for his namesake. Go on, be blessed, go on out and be a blessing this weekend. Have a great Easter, and I'll see you on Monday when we're back in Deuteronomy.